Good morning to all those tuning in. This is the Rebel Lemon, and today we will be playing Creepy Tale 2. So, this is the second game in the series. I covered the first one already, so hopefully check that out. This game is a lot longer. Um, the first game was about 90 minutes. Uh, this game is closer to four, four and a half hours, I believe. And it did cost a little more, about 15 pounds or something like that. Um, but I will say it already looks a lot better. And from some of what I've already read and a little bit of what I've seen, it sounds like it's a way more polished experience than the first game. So, that being said, let's get right into it. Loading. Chapter 1, Uninvited Guest. I will be covering each chapter on its own per video. So I lost track of time. I'd better go and check on my family. Oh. I didn't even realize it was uh fully voiced. So bow and arrows for training in the yard. Whenever um it comes up this past summer, Father and I found a magical glowing rock in the forest. It looked like amber, and now we use it as a nightlight. I will stay silent whenever he speaks. Half of the cupboard is full of my creations. I like crafting things out of stuff I find in the woods. It's autumn outside, my favorite time of year. A cupboard full of handicrafts. Ellie is in charge of it. I don't know why, but she likes to keep it locked with a key. Well, we're gonna have to try and find that key to get into it. Ooh. Handsome bird that gave me a scar on my cheek. Oh, and it's no longer a 2D side-scroller. I will say that is an improvement. Lars, my teddy bear is missing. But you two are inseparable. When did your teddy run off? We were playing hide and seek in the yard. He usually hides behind the well. He thinks that's a good spot, silly teddy. But he's not there today. We'll find him. Don't worry. Interesting. Cupboard of food. Ah. Oh. And unlike the first game, this already feels like it has its own identity apart from the Hansel and Gretel uh, game. Uh, that old Flash game. Father is cleaning his rifle. I shouldn't distract him without good reason. But it still does My remind me of diary. it. She went missing five years ago and this is all we have left of her. The way father tells it, mother was a very scholarly, spiritual person. She spent every spare moment in the library. We tried to make sense of her entries, but mother wrote in an ancient language that my grandpa taught her when she was little. Well, that's kind of depressing. Now she said something about the well and the teddy bear being around it. This stamp is where we split logs. It's been here for as long as I can remember. But I can't interact with the well. Father and I love shooting in the yard. Yesterday I was only a couple of points away from beating him. Good job. A mean crow tore off the teddy bear's head. How can I make it open its beak? 
Ah, we're gonna have to be finding pots of the crow. Interesting. Can't interact with the laundry, though. Let's see what's on the left side here. Oh! Hmm, there's only the teddy bear's body here. Well, I got the body. Can I go... Can I just I leave? my sister I'd find her teddy bear. It's got to be somewhere in the yard. Yeah, and it is. Hmm. Let's see if we can offer it food. Cupboard of food. Apparently not. Oh. This stamp is where we split locks. Father and I. Yes, yes. Um, what do I use the axe on? Hmm. I don't want to talk to sister yet. Father is cleaning. Um. Is there anything upstairs? I'll only shoot the crowd if there's no other option. I think I can outwit the rascal. I mean, I'm sure we can. This past summer, father... Handsome bird. I just don't care to. A cupboard full of handicrafts. Ellie. It's autumn outside. Maybe get on the roof? I oh. think the crowd would like a piece of cheese. Interesting. I didn't even see that. So, let's give the crow some cheese, though. Um, if I don't walk into walls... Granted... I don't think you should be giving cheese to crows. But... Hey, it's whatever. Dead has been found. Now I just need to sew the head back on. Ah, uh, let's check the inventory. We need a key. Um. Maybe we can talk to Ellie? Ellie, can I borrow the key to your little cupboard? Maybe. What for? I think it'll speed up the search for your lost teddy bear. Really? Alright. Take it. Catch. Oh, cool. We're just gonna lie. To the sister. Cupboard full of handicrafts. Oh yes. Open the backpack. New thread choose on teddy bear. Oh. Teddy bear. Teddy's back. Time to tell Ellie the good news. So this game is a little more complex in that in the first game. You just picked up items, and you use the items automatically. In this game, you not only pick up items, but you have to combine it in the inventory sometimes. Um, and you can't just press E to use an item. You actually have to press E to pick up or interact. Q is actually to use items. Look who I found behind the haycart. Tell Teddy not to play with crowds again. Thank you, thank you, thank you! As I just like. Sam, come here. Yes, father? It's meant to be a cold night. Be a good lad and chop some firewood. Right away, father. How long does it take you to clean a gun? It's absurd. Um... I'm assuming we have to go out and gather? firewood first. So, oh. I suppose we should do that. Oh, and those are the butterflies. Ah, lovely. There's no point going into the woods. There's a felt tree next to the house. So what? 
That's it. I really don't like that. That makes me uneasy. Oh, if I... <sighs> That's one heavy axe. Father wants me to grow up to be like Hercules. Just need to carry the firewood into the house and I'm done. So if I don't press E, I will actually drop my axe behind me. Interesting. Damn. Good job, son. Put the firewood in the stack by the fireplace. Yeah. I finished chopping the firewood. Now I can take a break. Take a break doing what? Oh, I just go to bed. I was actually going to interact with the bow and arrow, see if I could play with them. Go dad. Ellie, don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. It's me, Marta. Remember how much fun we had playing tag last week? I've come to take you back to your family. I have a present for you. See how the pebbles glow. You'll gain power and become a part of a grand scheme. Come out and try it on. If you don't like it, we'll leave. I promise. Don't do it. It's a trap. Ah, my whole body feels shivery. But in a nice way. I feel like I'm the queen of the world. I am pleased to welcome you, sister. But you're not the only child in the family, correct? That's right. I have a brother. Excellent. Where is he? Here. He's right up there. Oh, jump, my dude. Did I just get kidnapped? Creepy Tale 2. Be quiet. My name is Buckthorn. I'm your house spirit. I live in a tree hollow nearby, so I am always on hand whenever I'm needed. A house spirit? I always thought they only existed in fairy tales. My dear Lars, the world is full of magic, but it isn't revealed to everyone. Here, drink this draft of honeyberry. It will calm you and give you energy. I'm pretty sure that's booze. That's our house. But I oh, might. Oh, Lars! Something terrible has happened. I might be uh, wrong about that, though. Evil has come to our land. In the last month, children have been going missing, and forest dwellers have been perishing. With a certain diadem, one little girl's mind was enslaved, and now she's gathering a whole army. A diadem? My sister, she just put it on. Dark magic. Now she's in the service of evil. Mother. Dorothy and now Ellie. Things are getting worse by the day. The mystery lies in the butterflies. They are the ones controlling the forest people's minds while devouring their flesh from within. What do we do? How do we save Ellie? Did you see the giant with Martha? Ellie will probably get something like that as a servant. Simply going in and taking Ellie won't work. We need a plan. Go to the town, find my brother. He lives in the tailor's house. He even helps with the sewing and the housework. 
And he's awfully inquisitive. He's sure to know more than me. Take him some of my very own homemade mushroom cakes. They're his favorite. Thank you, Bakhtun. It was good to meet you. I'll be waiting for you and Ellie. May the forces of nature help you. So, looks like I'm a delivery boy. I'm scared of what I'll find when I go home. Um, I would have liked to grab the bow and arrow, to be fair. Ooh. Don't turn off the lights. The end of the rope isn't being used for anything. Interesting to know. Weird. Somebody must have been in a hurry. They left the jack out in this bad weather. Huh. Ooh. Judging by the sign, this is the tailor's house. I hope they'll be happy to see me here. It looks like the girls beat me to the tailors. I need to take a good look around. The house spirit probably hid in time. I do like the atmosphere of this game compared to the second. It's so much more tense and builds the world more that's one huge claw it looks like the tailor put up a good fight though i am curious because i thought i beat the little girl in the first game here kitty 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 don't be afraid i won't hurt you come down here I suppose not, though. I will investigate that in a second. Hmm. Interesting fireplace. Um, can you investigate further? Hmm. Interesting fireplace. Um. A claw would cut through canvas easily, but to do what? You fool, to get behind it. My personal invention. A fishing rod made out of a pin and some yarn. Uh okay. I can't imagine how these items could be combined. Ah, I Good have an idea. idea. If I attach the pin to the end of a spool of yarn, I'll have a rudimentary fishing rod. So let's use this. Or not. Can I use this on the table then? Wrong key. No. Oh, maybe I can use this. Hmm. Can I go outside? I can. Letter from a wood fairy. Rest to the house spirit that lives in the tailor's fireplace. Uh huh? So the house spirit has a hideaway. I hope he got to it in time. The tailor's house. The owner has been kidnapped, but I still have hope of finding the house spirit. It should have had time to hide. Um, maybe. You don't know. As I walk away. Oh. Do I have to do something? Oh, okay. Um, I'm... That's theft. Going further into town doesn't make sense. I just stole a wooden plank. That is... I also destroyed someone's stuff. Canvas made from a very thick material. Ripping it with my hands won't work. Now we will try the claw. 
Thanks for taking forever to do I that. I found the house spirit's home, but the door is locked. Um, offer the letter? Do I have to face this way? Huh. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hmm, 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 hmm. I wonder if I can use that piece of rope for something. Or even... Good idea, but it would be better to hook the mark while on the roof. Yeah, I suppose that's true. How about this thing right here? Now the question is... The end of the rope isn't being used for anything. Could I g hook up a plank to it? Or just take it? Okay. Um, let's combine this with this. this idea. My personal... An old but still sturdy plank of wood. Interesting. Monster cl heavy barn key. Heavy barn key. What do you mean that's a barn key? That's a lock. Um. Can I just like here he eat the cat? Um, uh, I guess not. What else is interactable? Um, I found the house. There has to be something to either do in here or outside. The tailor's house. Um. Maybe there's something else I can interact with? Going further into... Um. So I like the bigger, more open worlds. With the more complex puzzles. But... I will say, without being able to run... It does make some... Of these more open puzzles like this... A lot more tedious. There has yeah. to be something... Somebody might... It does make a lot of these My tedious. You want to do that? Seriously? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, just make it a little more tedious. Good idea, buddy. Yeah, but I can't hook it from the roof. Uh, just make these more open uh, areas a little more tedious. As I can only... Uh, Climbing onto the roof using the rope isn't a bad idea. But it won't work without the weight of the end. Um, does that give me a new option then? That isn't going. I can use this to hook onto something and climb up a little way. Amazing! With this, I can hook onto something and climb up a little way. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's got a good hold. I think I'm going to try climbing up. What a magical shot. It's too far. If I try to jump, it might be the last thing I do. What are you talking about? Um, plank? Uh, 
Oh no, I'm gonna slip, aren't I? Cool. Still in mugs. Um, unfortunately, I don't have it. How am I not slipping? These roofs get so slippery in the rain. Um. Give the kitty some water. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come down and have some tasty meal. The poor thing is scared out of its mind. It's even afraid of me. So, walk away? All the scary stuff is over now. Be a good kitty and let me take this little key of you. Okay. Oh no! Hello, I'm Lars. Backthorn told me to find you. Is he <laughs> all right? Uh, yeah. Better than what you're doing right now. Yes, he hid me when I was being chased, and he told me you could help. I have to save my sister. Something terrible has happened to her. Lars, your sister's mind has been possessed by the diadem. I'm afraid that simply taking it off won't be enough. Bakhtun said you were brave. Well, you're going to need your bravery now. Even my master, the brave Taylor, lost his battle against those creatures. He landed a few good hits, but they just got up and attacked again. I tried to help. But they slashed me with their claws, and I tumbled down into the basement. It seems the girls are hunting boys. Yes, they use them as living cocoons to turn larvae into new magical butterflies. The demon himself is harmless. He hides in a <coughs> cave, and little girls do all his... <coughs> Dirty work for him. You need to hurry. That's kind of fucked up. Head east through the forest, and there you'll find the cave. <coughs> but how am I supposed to defeat evil? <coughs> and he's dead. Curses. I think he's dead. El is being possessed by evil. Who knows where, and I'm stuck here. Father, I have no idea what's wrong with him. <laughs> Lars, keep it together. We're going to find a way to lower the ladder, find the cave, and save your sister. Uh, can I loot the dead body? <gasps> I can! Part Give me of a hook. Spirit's arm has been changed to a prosthesis with a hook on the end. What if this is the key to the way out? Noise. A strange rail mechanism. It might have something to do with the ladder. Hmm. Nothing here. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. A strange rail. What do I have? Aha! The prosthesis slotted perfectly into the mechanism. Uh, does that do anything? Um, I believe that was correct.
So, what, we hook the blue one now? Now what? The ladder is too hot. Um Okay, let's see. Okay, so I need to go get the blue to the top right. Green but okay. So I don't need red. Oh, I have to control this. Okay, let's go... Is this the only way to unhook them, or...? Um... Is there another way? Okay, let's close these. Oh, I have yellow on, not green. Um, let's try that. I think it's not gonna work because of the blue. Oh, I get it. You have to do them in order. Now we hook this up. There we go. Okay. So you can only hook them up in certain places. Oh, we are so screwed. Another disappearance today. Who do I see at this scene of the crime? That's why I'm here. Let me go. I'm looking for my sister. Monsters attacked my house. I managed to escape, and now I'm here looking for answers. Ah, misfortunes never come singly. This morning, my sweet, clever princess disappeared. Someone crept into the royal garden, tore a maidservant to ribbons, and kidnapped my daughter. Oh, that must have been, um... Uh... God, who's that girl from the... Yellow Brick Road movie? Wizard of Oz. That must be his daughter. Same name, different person. They're attacking the town too. The monsters are being controlled by girls who are possessed by evil. Oh my god. I'm gonna predict this now, but as we continue on with broadcasts and making them, my descriptions of things are just gonna go downhill. I, I just need to stop describing things. You are better informed than my advisors, boy. Who are you? Your Majesty, my name is Lars. I'm the son of a humble huntsman. All I know is that the evil creature giving orders to the girls is harmless, and it is holed up in a cave somewhere. I'm going there to rescue my little sister. Your words and deeds are worthy of respect, and you are not lacking in courage, I see. I'm willing to do anything for my family. I beseech you, find my daughter. 
I will grant you half a kingdom. Whatever you want. You have my word as king. But... Here, this is her portrait. Please, boy, find her. All right. I'll do my best. My carriage is waiting outside. I'll take you as far as the forest. Time is of the essence. Wait, how do you know if I'm not lying? Go, find my little princess. And remember, good always conquers evil. Um, okay. Off with you! Great deeds await! Wait! Many dangers lie ahead of you. Here, take my dog. Thank you, my king. Whatever, weirdo. It was all a lie! S Chapter 2, Step into the Unknown. So, before we continue... I will say, this game has... improved upon its predecessor a great deal. And it seems like so far, the puzzles are actually a lot better. And even though I still was, like, trying to figure out what I was to do, I didn't have as much as a problem as some of the puzzles in the previous game. Now, hopefully, um, we can see that level of difficulty continue. Because I think it's, at least for me, a really good difficulty. Because um, I really hate trial and error. Um, but this game actually gave you what it needed to do for the puzzle. You have to get the light to where it shows you. Uh, hook on the blue, get the blue to where the blue light is, hook on, blah 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 blah, and so on until you finish the puzzle. I was being dumb, to be fair. Um, I will say though, really good so far. I'm even more excited than the first game to continue on playing. And I really do hope that it, st it stays as good as it is now. Um, and the soundtrack is just as good. So, that being said, I'm going to end it here. So, thank you for tuning in to our frequency. This is the Rebel Lemon, signing off. So, good night, and sweet nightmares.